I'm Mike Lafferty, Team Red Bull KTM. Uh, we ride the off-road national Enduros. Um, eight time, I'm actually won the championship eight times. So we're defending the title again this year and trying to go for number nine. My name is Evan Yarnell. I wrench for Mike Lafferty on the KTM Red Bull off-road team. Uh, we're up here in New Hampshire doing some testing with the Factory Connection guys. I remember the tree under I kissed her and she burned was he? Our, our race at the Endoros it's a hundred mile loop and it changes so much. No section seems to be the same even if you're in the same place. So suspension is key, you know, and, and for me, I'm like a stickler for changing my stuff around so much that it, um, you know, it's hard to have the bike work the same throughout the course of the entire day because it changes so much. I think personally the bike is, is if I had it I had it up higher, I'd have more, you know, more of that stuff to play with. I think when I'm hitting it, I think it's already down inside. Big exposed root, diagonal, whatever, and, and what was going on there? It felt like when I when I, when I see it, I'm, I'm, I don't want to even want to, I can see it, but I'm looking at the turn after. Yeah, yeah. By the time I got to that turn, the whole bike kind of, I had a hard hit and then it compressed really far. And it actually didn't seem like it got on the ground. I had to kind of back out, back out of it, get the front wheel back on the ground, and I could accelerate. My experience thus far with Mike and KTM has been been really good. I worked for Christini uh, before. Um, in my duties more as a um, head technician of a lot of different bikes, and um, it, it's it's nice to work with one rider and one bike, so to speak, and with these focused and dedicated enough uh, that he take, he's good with his training and he, he knows what he wants with the bike. Uh, so it makes my job a lot easier as opposed to working with uh, a fresh rider, I think, not not sure of what he wants the bike to do and how he wants it to react. He, he definitely has a, a straightforward vision and a, a feel that he's going for with the bike and how he wants it to work. It doesn't have like I mean that was like it kicked, but it was I think that was honestly it wasn't it wasn't as bad as like before I can ride through I go a lot slower and I feel the bike I feel it every route. There I'm still not feeling a lot of stuff. It's definitely better. But I wanna be on the hammer. Like I wanna be able to whoa, whoa, hit it, you know, and you know take some momentum over it.
the setup we were running, Mike's, you know, like I said before, Mike's situation is a little, a little unique. They they gave Mike the choice to run the the, the factory stuff uh, from WP or to run the, the stock stuff. Um, as we were working through the stuff earlier in the season um, with some of the or, or you know the new stuff. You know, it was in the back of his mind. Hey, I'd, I, I, he'd used factory connection as far back as I believe in 90, 96, the first year he was on a KTM. So, he, you know, we had some uh, opportunities come to us, and some things uh, shift around. He said, well, "Why don't we, why don't we give these guys another try?" Some of the, some of the options we're testing through seem to be working, you know, working very well. Uh, they've done their homework, and it's, uh, it's, it's, it's going good. So far, things have be, seem to be really good. I'm glad I had the opportunity to come up here and race this past weekend at a, at, a, at a race, and we used some factory connected stuff, so I had a little bit of time under my belt. I raced with it. Um, we tried a lot of stuff, a lot of trial and error stuff to see where, where we are, and then coming up here and spending the day yesterday, getting things organized, and today doing some riding. It seems like it's really you know benefiting quite a bit, so I'm pumped on that. You know, I think we can um, definitely move forward from here, and hopefully I'll be back again. I can get hooked up with Zach and, and everyone, and we can keep you know think, keep things rolling, and hopefully we can uh, be set up for the next race. We have three three weeks off, so our goal is to get ready for that race and, and try as much as we can, and you know hopefully we can uh, succeed and like I say keep moving on. Yeah, without all this happening, you know it wouldn't wouldn't be possible without all my sponsors: KTM, Red Bull, Michelin, Motor X, Hard Equipment, FMF, DHL, um, Alpine Stars. Awry, Thor goggles, you know, everyone that's ever helped us and, and, and really uh, uh, put a bunch of effort into this, especially um, with the off-road series, it's really helping out. So thanks everyone for helping us.